Okay, all of a sudden we've got pressure on Tizian and Keto. Let's see if they can lock down the B site. We've got a flash prime for Tizzy and Keto prepared to peek. Sees the back of two, drops bomb. That's a great kill on Alexi. And he still stands with 10 seconds. Keto, three kills, four kills. A single frag away from the ace. And it's Valda inside of the smoke with no time to plant. Keto. Oh. He can't do more. He comes close. Shall see. Fire at the feet of Alexi B slows him down. Keto's going to reignite the floor and puts the smoke up on top of it. 35 seconds. We've got Tapson charging through smoke. Keto's gonna get that first headshot. Two kills, oh, four amazing. kills for Big Clan. They stop this B hit again. A singular kill here. It's gonna be on Searson. He drops bomb, sees the cross, and oh, flicks over to Issa. He saw that distraction from Mantu, didn't fall for it at all. Why nice doesn't flick get nervous? shot. Yeah, you can separate the 1v1s. They're going to be scared to try to push him too quickly, so now they split up, but, I mean, he's going to be thinking about this. Okay, Tyr Searson comes out with a crouch beat, kills him, and Xanteris is in the inside of it. People don't like flashing into the halls on these positions anymore because someone might be playing anti-flash, but it's still a very strong position to be in, and sometimes you throw the flash just to hear... Ooh. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even think he goes off a of flash at all, just straight on peaks. To gain just that much more information... He's going to walk right into the scope of Searson towards Arch. Searson flashing his way through, looking for the challenge, looking for the impact. And he gets Issa. How about a third? We've got OG kind of stutter stepping at this point. 25 seconds left over. Are we going to exchange rounds towards the ends of this half? Tizian trying to change into the little pit, dodges the flash. We've got now Valda inside the site, traded after one. And VK comes out and goes down. It is Searson to save the day. It's by quad. It's a really weird round, and he doesn't get checked. Alexi comes out with almost the second frag. He's going to get this one in the end, you'd think, but Searson's got a bit of an no evacuation way. route. Two kills for Searson off this bomb plant. He had his hands busy. Alexi had his number. And now instead, a single shot from either of these players will take the kill. And Searson, he's just going to sit. He's going to wait. Man. And then he's going to creep around the corner when the time comes. No and down. poor Issa, it's over. like a doe, is going to walk into this bomb site so unsuspecting at this point because Searson should have been cleared. He taps that bomb. Searson swings wide, drops his chance. Issa gets the frag, but it's still big with the win. Tabs in three deagles across the uh, team, and apparently one is all you need. Keto, good second chance. He just disrupted that piece of utility. That actually effectively smokes off library. Hmm, makes things a little bit awkward, but Mantu's going to move that off onto Arch. No. Keto with another. Now, if they try to play for that gun, it could be Alexi to clean up everything. Keto, he's challenging. Oh, Keto! Three kills with the Desert Eagle! They squeezed him. They're coming around through the top of mid. They can get into B site through CT spawn. Valda will find a frag. Bomb gets dropped. Issa, looking for the spray down, brings it back to the two on two. Lined him up and knocked him down. Zantara's now inside the site. He's going to be dropped to 30 health. Keto, is he actually going to activate and do everything they need him to? It's he up. is hyper focused on pit, but Valda now giving his position away with that kill. One the on Molotov two. could flush him into the open. He gives up the angle. Keto is on for the ace. Is where OG begin this second map. Got a little run boost, or no, a double peek. Just for the car. I think. Trying to get eyes over, but I don't think they saw Mantu. He's looking at his shoes. Yeah. What's the perspective of the man? Thank, he, thank like, you. he likes those shoes more than James likes his shoes. It looks like he's not really giving up on this, but they finally <laughs> see him. <laughs> Reverse cheerleader boost here. Santeras goes down. Smoke fades. Tizian's next. And NBK still no almost 100 health, but it's Searson's double sniper that suddenly puts up 2v2. Tapson's got back turned, and he's got them both. I'm not sure. Maybe he felt like he needed to take a risk there as they lost, uh, as it felt like long control, or Mantu maybe called long and he ran into tunnels. I don't even know. This is actually such a nice spray transfer. He not only has to spray, it's like tracking too. Yeah, flicks to the corner, Plus tracks into the left. open. If not slowed, we'll see if they, they come back for more rounds. So it's actually raspberries and uh, I thought it was watermelon and pineapples. It was raspberries and kiwi. Okay. Close, bro. So close. It's tense. Oh, I love a good 2v2. Yep. And it's on the B bomb site of dust as well. Smoke goes over towards tunnels. Molotov right on top of one of these T's. Tizian pushes through, and Alexi B goes down. Searson gives cover, and big take at 11. 
You know, we, we went back to talk about the opening kills between him and Alexi. But it's Keto to find almost the second. A little bit of a jump draws Mantu into it. And Keto with another crucial multi-kill. How many times in this series is he just going to unravel a buy round? Flank taps and doesn't know that they're right here, but they're so far away, he can't be oh, heard they're running. Everywhere. He, oh, just taps him back. Valda's going to turn around to stop it. Oh, taps in. To defend. Oh, but he heard that scope. Alexi heard the scope, and Searson still hits that shot. Snaps down into it. Keto, he's going to get an off kill of his own. So much damage yet again, and Big Clan finish off Dust 2. In style. Disgusting from Big Clan. The curse is real. We yeah. all know it is. We just figure it out. Ooh, Whoa. a team kill. That is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, I guess, you know, they were all in on that one. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one, and Nork is up here pounding the bomb. Tizian coming in from the other side, trying to get that random spray through. That's not connecting. He's fighting him out in the open, and he survives on just 12 health at the end. Going to prompt Searson to back off, and that sets up the bait. Zantaris is not going to miss that chance. Brings it back to a four-on-four. Well, they, that actually loses them all the map control. Not going down means they have no one on the A side, so they probably should go pretty quickly here. And they are. I, I really respect this. I think this is a great idea, but oh, what a turnaround. Tizian, wonderful triple kill. He just locked it down. And if he had more bullets, I bet that would have been a quad too. But he did everything that he needed to do. And Rez goes down. That is just now rotating, and it might be too late. It's a very good opening kill. The Molotov, though, they're running right through it. There's finally a smoke, but they line up for the spree. Santaris doing so much damage. He's practically already got a triple kill. Just has to finish it off, and there's going to be one of them if they line up inside of the tunnel. They're in a lot of trouble, and he's hiding inside of the smoke. He's actually playing this so well, they have no idea that he's in here. When it fades, he might have the advantage. Usually, that's how it works, so he's just creeping out, and there is the triple finally for him. He will get shot in the back, but I'm not sure it's going to be in time. Keto will take the final one. There is a follow-up grenade from the T side, so trying to make that work. He's falling back into the site, and finally they get him. He's got some backup, though, and everyone is blind inside of the site. Keto, though, brilliant round out of him. Tabson will join in, and they just wrecked that bomb site. They got so deep into it that... But he's got the bomb planted for him, so he knows that there's a position. It's just he doesn't have an AK. This is a nightmare situation here, Anders. Oh, Unless that happens. happens. Yeah, I mean, and now the smoke, I mean, Plopsky has it, but he's just walking right in. Searson, lightning fast. But whether or not they want to give up this double orb here, B. No, it it sucks it. to give up the round, but at the same time... Oh, wait, what is that? He did a 360 to kill him. All right. That kind of, uh, that kind of puts a little bit of a question mark around that whole process. So, nice shot from Santaris. So far, the Deagles have all been wiped out. And there's another one. So it's down to Glaive with the AK. He is going to be on the spot and instantly taken down. That's some quick work. Very tricky no matter what. So we'll see if Astralis are up for it. If they lose it, there will be all the rifles. They won't have the money and Big will just be off flying yet again. Device with a shot on Santeris and Glaive. He's going to tap the bomb. But again, 10 second defuse. That's not really going to do much for them at the moment. Nice shot. But Tizian is still down there. And that bomb is not being defused yet. They're trying. They picked up a kit. It's still happening. Two seconds, but Tizian winning the one versus two at the end. Now, Device goes down, but the tree is here. Oh, Tabson, lightning quick with that flick, and now Meg is fighting on in the open. Tabson, real close to death. Glaive, oh, there's a smoke there. I was going to say he has a Molotov. Is it going to be in time? That's a quick shot again, and Tabson will save the day, even though he's far away. In 29th round here. Yep, you jump, I'll take the shot, and Tizian delivers. And talk about it. Well, that's just, you know, highway robbery right back, you know. The Astralis device uh, clutch probably shouldn't have gone Astralis' way. It worked very smooth round out of Sears, and you've got to appreciate that. Some of these shots, I mean, I think this one is... Oh, God, that feels good. Well, Searson is now, he's shown himself... Tizian is still there. Does he want to go for it? He flashes himself in, lines up a triple! That was beautiful! That, there would have been a lost round. If he just gets two and gets traded, the bomb is down instantly. Magus not even going to get the bomb plant. Just jump through middle. That HG though. Dude. And continues to dominate. He has still got 100% win rate on his opening duels. So Searson's not missing on Inferno. He is definitely coming to his own here. 100%. That's, that's acceptable. That's really good. I don't know if you can go above 100. What if you shoot like two for one? Does it count? Does it count as like 150? Is that it? Uh...
Uh, who knows? He's just getting in there. Nice. Susan is wanted to attack straight away, but yeah, now they're thinking about it. Boosting up. Great shot from Santeris. The spray continues. He nearly got that double. And finally, they bring down Searson. It only took almost the entire half to get that done. And now, Tizian. 20 seconds here, so they have to get a bomb plan. He can actually slow play this and just force them to come. Doesn't have to move around quite so much. Yeah, maybe check the back, but... But Magisk is the one that has to get out, and he's very low on health. 12 seconds. If he dies in that corner, it is an absolute disaster. Trying to get that bomb plant down inside of the smoke. Oh, can he get around the corner? He wins the round. Tizian escaped, just snipes him, executes him inside of the smoke. Beaker found themselves in a potentially winnable scenario here. Sisson, oh, maybe messing that up a bit, but... Sip is low on health. He's one bullet away. He's going to go straight for the defuse. Two seconds left. Searson. Oh, and he gets it. 14 rounds on big. The other. Over big. Right. And maybe over big twice. Hmm. That would be the story tonight. Yes. And of course, yeah, I mean, that just. Maybe that's why the feeling of it felt like he was really a part of the round. Yeah. It's ultimately because he actually did win the maps. This makes me anxious. Oi. I can't put eye drops <laughs> in my eyes. And I, I don't can... know what Keto is up to, but he was at the end of that round and the one prior, and this is the information we needed. Strawberries, grapes, pineapples. Pineapples, yeah. Who took them? <laughs> it's, it's been more common in defaults to like try to use mid as much as possible for that rotation. Okay, but before we talk more about that, we've got Searson to pick up Rez on the A site, and he's looking to make it a double as well, and the patience will pay off. Can it be three? Oh. Can in the head of Hampus. That's the A site crack. Well, they've got three guys challenging middle. And Searson's gonna get overwhelmed. He's got a teammate though, and that's Tizian picking up the pieces. Three USP headshots in mid. Ooh, they've got the bomb kind of wrapped as well with Big throwing bodies up onto the A site. A deep corner position from Tabson doesn't deliver, but that's the kill they definitely need. Santeres moves in, grabs an AK. And the bomb's alone, and they put so much pressure that they, he knows he could just push up. Oh, and he gets a really swift headshot, turns back for it. Santeres with another, and it's all on Popsky. Santeres! I see, and it's really funny how they're getting all these monster walkouts, but another 5v4 here for Big. Rez could have his hands full, or, I was going to say, or they line up, but Searson threw their money over, but Searson, oh, he sneaks into a tricky position. Is it going to be, it'll be cleared, but it doesn't matter, man. Instant headshot or two as he takes that player oh. out, and he's going to make it a multi. What a sequence here from oh. Searson. Oh. Searson, beautiful stuff. Ace. Little hot sauce on that ace. Held by Nock. Yeah, this is all about Nock. They know Hampus is there. They're waiting to find out if there's someone else that they can see. Ooh, dink. Yeah, he doesn't get the damage off. And they kill Hompus. Now they're looking for the rotator, and Nock will get another. Oh, Tizian! Fire, that's beautiful. And the clutch, that's nasty. That's revenge.